welcome to Eat Well, Be Well. This is my second video. Uh, last week I said that I was going to do a stew, but I'm going to change it up a bit and make a shepherd's pie. Today I have a special guest. Oh. Hello. <laughs> it's Kieran, my housemate, and he's actually the inspiration, one of the inspirations behind why I'm actually doing these videos. I'm going to ask him a few questions and then you'll probably find out why. So Kieran, it's about, what, 7pm now? What did you have to eat today? Butter rice. All right, and what do you have for your dinner? Dominoes. Dominoes. Okay. Kieran likes to eat things like noodles and fish fingers for his uh, dinners. Doesn't really buy any fresh meat or vegetables, no. And probably has Dominoes on speed dial. No, but I know the number. Yeah. Okay. So this is like one of the reasons why I'm making these videos, in case you're wondering. So yeah, he's the reason. Actually, it's just him. <laughs> so we're gonna have a look at the ingredients. <laughs> just me. Yeah, just you. <laughs> so we're gonna have a look at the ingredients now and make a shepherd's pie. So here are today's ingredients. We have mince, carrots, potatoes, um, oxtail soup, stock cubes, the beef ones, um, an onion, frozen peas, garlic, and pepper. The mince you're only using half the mince, and that was three forty nine. You're using a whole bag of spuds; they are one nineteen. You're using like half a bag of carrots; that was one twenty seven. The oxtail soup came in at sixty nine cent, and I got ten stock cubes for ninety nine cent. And the frozen peas, you can use as much as you want. I'm using about a hundred grams. Now, Kieran was uh, distracting me loads there. I forgot to say that stew and shepherd's pie, which are really closely linked, is actually. My favourite comfort food, especially now that it's coming into winter. If you have any other vegetables you want to put in, like parsnip or turnip, you can put that in too. But I really like a stew and shepherd's pie because it means that if I have slightly older vegetables in the fridge, I can just throw them all in and make them into something really, really nice. Also, with the stock and the stock cube, I didn't put an amount of stock because it depends really on how much um, vegetables you actually put in. I'm going to explain that further. If you want to keep this as a stew, you just want to make one portion of spuds. Uh, because we're making a shepherd's pie, you're going to make all the portions, like the three portions. That's why I put in the whole bag of spuds. But you'll see that later on as well. So now I have my big pot here, and that's on a medium heat. I'm going to add the mince straight to it. You don't need any oil because the mince actually produces its own oil. So I might just be careful with it because it might stick at first, but it will produce its own oil. that until it goes brown. So as you can see the mince has turned a lovely brown colour and it has actually produced a lot of oil so it's time to put in your onions. You only need to leave the onions in there for about one or two minutes because the stock is going to cook them completely through anyway. And now you're going to add all of your carrots in. in there and now I'm going to explain to you about what I'm going to do with the stock. Now I just took the pan off the heat for a moment there to show you about the stock. Here is a stock cube. Instead of putting it into a measuring jug and trying to figure out how much you're going to need, as you can see there's carrots up to here there. If you use more carrots or less carrots it's going to be different. So I'm just going to crumble this all up. Oh, those onions have my eyes ruined. And you're going to just add boiling water up until it covers all of the vegetables. But just enough to cover. So I just put that back on the heat. And at the same time I'm going to put water in for the spuds. Oops. Oh dear. You can probably see the frozen peas at the background there. You don't actually have to put them in just yet until the end because they only need like two or three minutes to be cooked fully. Now you're going to leave these at a medium to high heat and they should both cook, both uh, pots should cook within about 20 minutes. Now folks, the next part can be a bit tricky. So I'm going to tell you about uh, the oxtail soup. Uh, you got a cup, you got some oxtail soup, Put the oxtail soup into the cup and add some cold water. 
The reason why it's going to be a bit tricky is because I said about 20 minutes for the carrots to cook within the stew. It can take 15, maybe even a little bit shorter than that. But what you have to make sure is that the stock itself reduces to half of what originally was. So that your sauce won't be too thick and it won't be too runny. So my spuds are cooked now, so I'm going to make some mashed potato. But before I do that, um, you should add your peas in now because the stew at this stage should nearly be down, should be nearly reduced. And put your oven, preheat it, put it to 180 degrees. I'm transferring these spuds into something a bit bigger so I have room to mash them all in. And I leave the skins on because that's just a personal preference. Ooh. But um, <laughs> you can take them off if you want. So to make these mashed buds, I just like to add a splash of milk. Or a bit more. And some butter. And some pepper. And then mash. Mash to your heart's content. <laughs> So now the stock is reduced to about half, so now uh, we're ready to put in some pepper and garlic. Just some seasoning there. And now you can put in your little cup of oxtail soup. for about two minutes. So when you have that cooked for about one or two minutes, that's it, that's your stew. But because we're going to make shepherd's pie, there's just a couple of more steps. So find yourself a nice little baking tray, baking dish, and transfer your stew from the pot into the tray, and then you're going to try and put all your uh, mashed buds that you had from earlier on on top. Now I'm only after roughly putting the spuds on the top there, but you'll have a bit more time at home, so you can just perfect it a little bit. So we're going to transfer that into the oven. Um, it's been preheated at 180 degrees, and you leave that in for about half an hour, or until it starts to brown, but it's really up to you. So there you have it, folks. Some shepherd's pie, and it's still bubbling. So there you have it, shepherd's pie, and uh, next week we're going to do a chicken curry, and next week is competition time. So keep watching the video, subscribe, like the Facebook page, do everything that you need to do. So until next week, eat well, be well, and good luck.